What we're doing is we're actually collecting data on vaccine implementation, on health intervention implementation in our demographic surveillance site. And what we've been able to see is again and again that the vaccines have much broader effects on overall mortality and morbidity than can be explained merely by prevention of the disease, uh, diseases that they are targeted against. The specific vaccines have specific effects on diseases, they have unspecific effects or non-specific effects, and these non-specific effects may amplify each other, they may counteract each other. So what it leads to is a much broader understanding of the immune system as a learning system, which learns by experience, which can be taught a very good lesson by a vaccine, like measles vaccine, for instance, which makes it more resistant towards other infections. But that can be negated if you give, for instance, DTP at the same time. So the learning system learns, but it learns different lessons from different vaccines, and, and as such, the sequence and combination of vaccines becomes extremely important. The short and depressing message is we cannot know merely based on the disease-specific effects. We need to study vaccines in the broader context. We need to st study them on overall mortality and morbidity, and we need to study them in the context where they're actually given to appreciate and understand the interactions with other health interventions, not only other vaccines, but also things like bed nets, intermittent treatment against malaria vitamin A, deworming, so on.